Hello, and welcome to The Gauntlet. I'm David Hipp, and today our guest is Ms. Odell, a social studies teacher here at DGN. So, here's how the show works. There are three parts of our gauntlet. First up is an interview, then a milkshake se segment, and then a kiddie pool party. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. So, for our first question, how do current events uh, affect the curriculum of being a social studies teacher? I think it definitely depends on which content you teach, but I try to embed current events in all of the classes I teach. I think that as a social studies teacher, it's really part of our job to make sure that we are not only talking about historical events, but also events that are currently happening. Yeah, I think it's awesome to stay informed. Yeah. So, what do you think has changed the most about school since you were a student? For me, the biggest change, both teaching and as a student, has been technology and how ubiquitous technology is. Um, I remember it being quaint to send someone an email uh, not too long ago when I was a student, and now um, emails are even kind of out of, out of uh, fashion. Um, that the, the availability of technology for students and for teachers alike has really fundamentally changed uh, both being a student and a teacher. Yeah. If you could have lunch with any figure from history, who would it be and why? Great question. I think this is a question that social studies teachers get a lot, so I feel a little anxious every time I hear this question. Um, but I am really interested in, in people whose lives bridge these huge time uh, periods, and especially time periods that have uh, a lot of like uh, technological or change during them. So one of my favorite artists is a woman named Alma Thomas. She was an educator, an artist, and she was born in the late 1800s and died in the 1970s. And when she retired from teaching, she did a lot of work with um, painting and art, and her art focused on space travel. And it's a lot of intersections of things that I'm really interested in, civil rights, teaching, history. So I'd love to sit down with her and, and learn a little bit more about her as a, a person and her, her multitude of careers. Okay, and now... For our final question, if you weren't a social studies teacher, what would be your dream job? Hmm. Well, uh, when I was younger, uh, whenever anyone asked me what I wanted to do when I grew up, I always wanted to be a baseball player. Uh, that was problematic for a couple of reasons. One, I'm not a very good baseball player. And two, when I was a young girl, the opportunities didn't really exist at the professional level for athletes like they do, or for, for non-athletes like they do now. So I think that for me, I would have loved to have, if given the chance to do it all over again, of course I would still be a teacher, uh, but maybe I would uh, focus on doing some things outside of just playing sport that I really would have enjoyed, like officiating or scouting or managing or something like that. So something in sports. I also have a soft spot in my heart for museums, so some sort of niche museum would be a good job for me as well. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. So, thank you for sitting down to chat. Now it's time for you to head over to the second segment of our gauntlet. Will it shake? Will it shake? Let's find out. Hello, Mrs. Odell, Hello. and welcome to Will It Shake, where we test the very limit of milkshake ingredients. Um, have you ever wanted to try a orange slice candy milkshake? I can't say that I have, but the time is now, right? Right, right. Okay. So um, our standard ingredients are going to be milk and ice cream. Um, so I'm going to start this segment by putting in a sizable amount of orange slices, I'd say. This one isn't very... Oh, there we go. It happens. All right. I think that should do it. Get that evenly there. And then we're going to put in about half of the milk. I mean, it looks great already. <laughs> so appetizing. <laughs> All right. Now we're just going to blend this up first so it blends in well with the ice cream. <clears throat> That's an expert move. You've done this before? I have not. This is oh, my very first oh, time. I'm excited now. Oh, is it on? It is now. Uh-oh. Maybe a little bit more milk. The orange gummies are not blending up very well. Might not shake. Let's see. I hope I hope we'll be able to have it shake. <laughs> this will be disappointing otherwise. <clears throat> oh, 
Leave it running. leaking out um it smells orangey already it smells great you smell it i do i don't know i should i add the ice cream all right i'll add the ice cream i have high hopes i don't know I, this is sort of going downhill here do a couple scoops. i remain confident and positive uh-huh Oh, absolutely. Yeah, would you like to scoop faster? So I'm tell you this. sort of an amateur at this. Well, I'm an expert because in high school I worked at a very famous shake place. Oh. Oof. I'll let you judge the amount. Oh, well, now this is a lot of pressure you're putting on me. This is a lot of liquid already. Alright, we're going to do it. Alright, let's go. Oh, alright. The, the whole thing? Okay, well, let's do that. Okay. All in. Let's go. There we go. All right. <laughs> oh, I don't like that noise. <laughs> um. Let's find out. Let's give it a try. Let's, let's. try it, I guess. Give it a whirl. Mm. I think you gave it a whirl. Let's see if it shakes, though. Ooh, I don't know. This looks more like a smoothie than a shake. I'll give it a try too. I reckon. Strength in numbers, right? Right. This is a team game. Team effort. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. What do you think? Uh, Does it shake? It does shake. It's, Strangely enough, it does shake. It's a little on the thin side, but it overall, is. not bad. Well, I'm thank you, Mrs. Odell, for coming on. Now, um, I'm going to send you on to our final segment of the show, which is the kitty pool party. Let's Enjoy. It. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Odell, and welcome to our kitty pool party. In this game, the contestants will take three turns trying to get the balls into the pockets. Your score will be determined by the numbers on the balls. As our guest, you get to decide if you'd like to go first. I'm going to go second. All right. Well, then, without further ado, Jin, take your first shot. You put a lot of confidence in me. A tough start. Zodel, go ahead. First round, no balls in. We have our first ball. That is four points. Excuse me. Of course. Shucks. Oh, that's a tough shot. It is, it is. All right. I think I can do it, though. Is this my last shot? No, I believe people will have one more. Oh. I smashed. Oh no. I believe you have one more shot each. I was feeling very confident. Are you sure? Yeah, I Is that? It. I think that was our first. Oh, was that it? That was three each, yeah. All right, well then that's game. We have one ball total, and our winner for today is Jaden. Nice job. Well, thank you all. Thank you for coming in. This is Odell, and thank you for watching. Be sure to catch more episodes of The Gauntlet right here. Goodbye. <laughs>